Evansville Watch, of course, is a Facebook and Twitter organization. They monitor the police radio here in Evansville. And then when something goes out, they will tweet or status update about it to keep us informed. That's right. Then Kat goes through. She gathers the best one, reads them to me. We laugh and have a good time. Mm -hmm. So if you want to participate, all you have to do is keep on listening. (laughs) All right, Rob. Remember, I read these as they're written. Some of them are strange. Some of them funny. Some of them just plain Evansville. We're going to start. With assault at a bar in the 1300 block of South Barker Avenue, female assaulted the manager and then left without paying her $80 tab. Huh. So she tried to pay her tab with uh, punches and kicks, it sounds like. Apparently. Huh. All right, then. Uh, Dispatch, the occupant of a home on Mulberry Street, keeps going outside to urinate on a pole. This is an ongoing problem per the caller. I'm sorry, what was the beginning of that one? Who was doing that? The occupant of a home on Mulberry Street. Was leaving his home. To to go outside. To pee on a pole? To pee on a pole. I love Evansville. This I, is not, sadly, this is not the first pole peeing story we've had. No, it's not. Nope. No, it is not. Nope. Not even this year, nope. I don't think. Because I think that other one happened earlier this year. We've uh, had somebody fight a pole. That's right. Mm-hmm. Do you think that... We've had somebody pee on firewood. We should make that part of our city motto. Like, Evansville, <laughs> if you have a pole, we'll pee on it. There you go. We hate poles. There you go. <laughs> Disorderly conduct at Dress Plaza. Group of juveniles on the bottom, bottom level. One of them has a taser and is chasing other juveniles. I think you might be right the first time. They were on the bottle. <laughs> I, th- I think they <laughs> may have the been. the bottom level. <laughs> wow. All right, uh, then. Check welfare at Walnut and Harlan. An intoxicated female is screaming and stepping into traffic. That one's just scary. We get one every week. Every week. Theft, 1100 block of South Lombard. Suspects reportedly stole a washer and dryer with the clothes still inside. That's How just, do you steal a washer and dryer? Those are huge and they're heavy. Those are big and heavy. You're absolutely right, Kat. And stealing it with the clothes inside is just adding insult to injury absolutely. at that point. I don't know which I'd be more upset about. Uh, dog refusing to leave at CVS. First <laughs> Avenue in Columbia. The dog walked into the store. It sounds like the setup to a joke. It does. Like one from last week's uh, Make Rob Laugh. Yeah. Uh, employees cannot get it to leave. It's very friendly, too. <laughs> hey, Rob, this is Truffle Shuffle. A dog walks into a CVS and says moo. <laughs> <laughs> if you heard last week's last week's eh, Make Rob Laugh, my goodness. Um so the dog's being friendly, mm-hmm. but it sounds like he's not buying anything. No, didn't so you gotta, buy anything. gotta kick him refusing out. Refusing to leave. Um, disorderly conduct at Lodge Avenue and Covert Avenue. Two females that were screaming inside Subway are now outside hitting each other. Welcome to Evansville. <laughs> In a Subway? Yep. That's funny. Uh, theft reported at Grocery Outlet, Lincoln Avenue. The female suspect stole milk and wine. <laughs> <laughs> The, the two things I like to put most in my cereal. Sure. Milk and wine. Um, all right. We've got uh, just a few more, Rob. Dispatch, mail running in the Diamond Fairs area. Caller advised he is looking crazy. EPD en route to try to locate. I'm almost wondering if we should have like, you know how TV shows when they're really successful, they have like spinoffs. Mm-hmm. I wonder if we should make like a, it came from Fairs Avenue spinoff. No. Because no. we get a lot of news from, okay. It came from the dollar store. Maybe. But, you know, we'd need a whole nother day for that, and I would have to go through everything twice, okay. and, and it would be it would be a lot, Rob. All right, I'm sorry. Um, I, I literally skim through seven full days' worth of Twitter updates from Evansville Watch. I go through, and I, I look at every single one of them. Kat, we appreciate it very much. Uh, we have... Uh, oh, here we go. We have fight at 3rd Avenue and Louisiana Street. Large group of subjects fighting. They're reportedly trying to get a dog to join the fight also. What? I don't know. Don't do that. Maybe that's why the dog walked into CVS. Yeah, maybe it's the same dog. Maybe. Um, maybe he wound up getting hit and just needed some ibuprofen or something. It's possible. We have a theft at Sears, 1100 South Green River Road. Male subject stole a DVD player. He left his friend in the store. Loss prevention has him. A DVD player? But he left his friend in the store, Rob. That's what you're hung up on, the DVD? He left somebody in the store that was with him, and loss prevention now has them. Has the person? Yes. I don't know if you can just keep a person in the lost and found. You can't, but it makes it a whole lot easier to find your shoplifter when you got his friend hanging out with you. I imagine he also went back for a VCR at some point in the day. (laughs) Uh, Be on the lookout. Southbound on Evans, white Impala with Louisiana plates. Occupants appear to be smoking crack. Crack? Mm Mm-hmm. 
I thought for sure it was going to be weed, but you went with crack. It was crack. Huh. All right, then. And speaking of crack, last but certainly not least for this week's It Came From Evansville Watch, Rob. No throwback Thursday or anything? No, I didn't see a throwback Thursday. Um, but there is this. Remember, I read these exactly as they're written, so here's what Evansville Watch typed out onto Twitter. Overheard on scanner. Dispatch telling officer about safety alert on a mail. Quote, he had eight rocks of crack between his buttocks in 2007. Hold on a second. I, I must have I must have missed something there. Okay, dispatch is in a conversation with the officer. Okay. Evansville Watch overheard this on the scanner. The dispatcher is telling an officer that there's a safety alert on a male suspect. And okay. that safety alert is that this male suspect in 2007 was found to have eight rocks of crack between his butt. Okay, then. D- does that make sense now? Yes. Okay. Now, now I'm with you. All right. Yeah. That's a, that's a, I could think of so many better places to keep it, but hey, when you're in a pinch, maybe that's the best place to go. I don't know. This is not my, my forte. I don't. Nor is it mine. So, wow. Okay, then. And then I'm assuming at some point in time he would consider smoking that or taking it or whatever you do with it. Of course. Considering where it's been. I'm sure it's wrapped up nice hey, and tight. you know, this is from the city that has P-meth. So yeah. <laughs> this can't be all I that can't surprising. I believe I forgot about P-meth. <laughs> all Man. Right. Um, that's it. That's this week's It Came From Evansville Watch. Fantastic.